All right, guys, what's going on? I'm here with Christian. I'm going to show you a circle dashi today. All right, right side versus right side. Advantage, right hand goes higher than my opponent's hand. This is always, always the case. I'm going to step close to my opponent, and I'm going to circle him as if I was doing a sasai. I'm going to rotate him to bring the weight off of that front leg. Okay, I'm going to attack that trailing leg. Right now, if there's weight on that leg, that leg is not going anywhere. So I circle, the weight comes off of this leg, and I attack that dayashi. It's very important when I go dayashi not to take myself off center. All right, once I lose my balance, I need this leg to keep my posture upright. Therefore, I want to keep my body upright by keeping this leg underneath me and my head straight while skewing my opponent's body to the side. Circle, dayashi. All right, now let's look at the hands a little bit. Once I circle, attack this dayashi, I'm gonna bring this elbow in and I'm gonna bring his chin to the side in order to skew his upper body and kazushi him toward the leg that I just took out from underneath him. All right? One, two, I sweep, bring this elbow in and I bring this hand through. Really important that I keep my body upright. I sweep through and then take him over this leg. With enough momentum, I could take him up both off, uh, feet off the floor. Sometimes I like to provide a little bit of extra lift by bringing my elbows up underneath me. It's very, very difficult to provide this lift this way, okay, because my delts aren't very strong. But if I keep my elbows in this direction, right, I have my elbows tucked underneath me, and I could provide a little bit of upward lift by using my legs, right, so the power comes from my legs. All right, so let's see the movement action. I go circle, dash, right, and then I take them down. Thank you.